I'm so sorry, ma'am. I know you need this medicine, but it looks like it's not covered by your insurance. Yeah, unfortunately, I had to deny that one. Wait, who are you? I'm your insurance company's pharmacy benefit manager. I get paid based on the price of a medicine, and I don't make as much money off this one. No one should stand between you and your medicine. Visit phrma.org slash middleman to learn more. Paid for by Pharma. Too late isn't in your vocabulary. Reach your next goal at University of Maryland Global Campus. Get the accredited education you want wherever you are, on your own schedule. UMGC offers online degrees and certificates to help you level up your skills. Apply now and save with no application fee through May 31st. For more than 75 years, UMGC has been transforming adult lives. Access online courses, faster onboarding, and success coaches that help you along the way. Plus, UMGC makes an accredited online education more affordable than ever with scholarships, interest-free payment plan, and no-cost digital resources in place of most textbooks. Choose from more than 125 degree and certificate programs in career-relevant fields and receive lifetime career services at no additional cost. Gain skills local employers are looking for in business, cyber, IT, healthcare, and more. Get started on your undergraduate or graduate degree or certificate online. No application fee if you apply by May 31st. Learn more at umgc.edu slash podcast. Certified to operate by CHEV. This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 993. Your ability to focus has probably peaked. Here's how to stay sharp by Nir Eyal of nirandfar.com. And hey again, I am Dan, and if you're new here, I am the host and the narrator of Optimal Startup Daily, where I read to you from some great blogs on entrepreneurship every single day of the week. And right now, we're gonna hear from Nir Eyal, one of our regular authors who I'll tell you more about after the post. So let's get to it. Let's learn how to stay sharp as we optimize your life. Your ability to focus has probably peaked. Here's how to stay sharp by Nir Eyal of nirandfar.com. Having a hard time focusing lately? You're not alone. Research shows interruptions occur about every 12 minutes in the workplace and every three minutes in university settings. In an age of constant digital interruptions, it's no wonder you're having trouble ignoring distractions. In their new book, The Distracted Mind, Ancient Brains in a High-Tech World, Dr. Adam Ghazali, a neuroscientist, and Dr. Larry Rosen, a psychologist, explain how our ability to pay attention works and what we can do to stay focused. It turns out, attention isn't as simple as it seems. In fact, paying attention involves two separate functions. Enhancement, our ability to focus on things that matter, and suppression, our ability to ignore the things that don't. Interestingly, enhancement and suppression are not opposites. They are distinct processes in the brain. From the distracted mind, ancient brains in a high-tech world. Quote, Although it may seem counterintuitive, we now appreciate that focusing and ignoring are not two sides of the same coin. It is not necessarily true that when you focus more on something, you automatically ignore everything else better. We have shown in our lab that different brain networks are engaged when we focus compared to when we ignore the same thing. End quote. These processes are so separate, in fact, there are different networks of brain structures that carry out their respective functions, each of which is critical for attention. If either of these brain processes is impaired, we lose focus. For example, we struggle with attention when we are tired, drunk, and most notably, as we age. Older adults are biologically more distractible than young adults. Personal anecdotes and scientific evidence demonstrate that our attentional capacity peaks near age 20, and diminishes over time. Ghazali discovered that age-related declines are caused by a deficit in the suppression, or ignoring, process. Quote, Our main finding in this study was that, interestingly, older adults focus on relevant information as well as 20-year-olds. Where older adults suffered a deficit was in suppressing the irrelevant information. We discovered their main attentional issue was that they are more distractible than young adults. End quote. The attentional decline we experience as we age has more to do with our inability to filter out distractions, not our lack of concentration. If you think it's hard to pay attention now, just wait until you age a few more years. To improve our ability to pay attention, we need to both remove distraction, especially as we age, as well as boost our capability to focus on one task at a time. Here's how. How to eliminate distraction. Have you ever noticed someone squinting their eyes in an attempt to recall something? 
Turns out, closing your eyes to remember may actually work. Why this quirky technique is effective tells us something important about how the brain filters information. When your eyes are closed, your brain isn't working as hard to filter out visual information. Instead of struggling to ignore everything in your field of view, your brain can devote more attention towards scanning your memory. Ghazali conducted an experiment to see what type of visual information is the most distracting. He and his team asked volunteers to remember details while looking at one of three visual scenes, a plain gray screen, a busy picture, or with their eyes closed. Quote, The results of this experiment revealed that their ability to remember details was significantly diminished when their eyes were open and there was a picture in front of them, compared to either eyes being shut or their eyes being open while they faced a gray screen. End quote. This experiment, along with others, provides evidence that cluttered and disorganized environments are more distracting than organized ones. Spaces filled with visual distractions force our brains to work harder to filter out superfluous information. When facing a pending deadline that you desperately need to focus on, clearing your desk and workspace to make it like the gray screen can increase your focus. Try clearing your virtual desktop of clutter as well. Limit yourself to one monitor, one browser tab or window, and one computer program or app at a time. Removing distraction is important to maintain our focus as we age, but we also need to boost our capability to concentrate on one task at a time. Here's how. How to boost focus. Ghazali and Rosen say some activities may boost cognition and attention by stimulating the brain's ability to strengthen and reorganize existing neural connections, a process called neuroplasticity. Activities that may boost cognition include physical exercise, meditation, and spending time in nature. Recent research also finds that some cognitive exercises may also help. Although there are many brain training programs, some of which have overpromised and underdelivered, some scientists believe a new crop of clinically validated programs may soon come online. Quote, cognitive exercises are an attempt to improve brain function by harnessing our brain's inherent plasticity rather than by explicitly teaching a strategy or a skill. Most training programs attempt to accomplish this goal not just through repetitive task engagement, but also through adaptivity, end quote. For Ghazali and Rosen, adaptivity is key. Just as athletes must adjust their exercise routines as they grow stronger, cognitive exercise programs must also adjust to how well or how poorly the participant is doing in the task. Personalized adjustments make the training more successful. New research shows the promising effects of cognitive exercise programs in older adults and healthy populations. Ghazali and Rosen caution that while the research is encouraging, more clinical trials are needed to prove medical benefits. However, many in the industry are hopeful doctors will one day prescribe game-like cognitive exercises as part of a healthy brain training regimen. In the meantime, certain currently available video game titles may actually be good for brain health and improve cognition. Quote, They are designed with a primary goal of engendering high levels of immersion, engagement, and enjoyment for the players. They do not tend to focus on one specific cognitive skill, as exercises usually do, but rather expose players to multiple demands that challenge a broad range of abilities. End quote. A 2003 study of video game play linked better cognition and higher scores on attention and memory tests in gamers versus non-gamers. But not all video games are created equal. Non-gamers who played the first-person shooter game Medal of Honor one hour per day for 10 days showed improvements in cognition, while the ones who played Tetris did not. Quote, The researchers' conclusion was that the nature of action video gameplay was critical in forcing players to simultaneously juggle a number of varied tasks, like detect new enemies, track existing enemies, and avoid getting hurt, among others. End quote. Video games may give you a boost, but not every off-the-shelf game will do the trick. The difference between the games that work and the ones that don't gives us information into how the brain changes in response to its environment. Video games good for building focus create environments that are fast-paced, interactive, adaptive, and have complex reward and gaming structures, like a brain playground. In 2013, Ghazali verified that a custom-designed cognitive video game, NeuroRacer, improves cognition in older adults. Dr. Ghazali's research led to a proprietary technology platform to measure and improve certain executive functions. In the future, cognitive video games will be like neuro-crossfit training, as Ghazali calls it, 
they will combine elements of physical activity, meditation, and cognitive exercise rolled into one game. In the meantime, we can do our part to keep our attentional focus sharp by first reducing distractions to improve our suppression capabilities and then beefing up the brain's enhancement functions through activities like exercise, meditation, outdoor time, and immersive video games. We can boost our ability to concentrate by doing just one thing well at a time. You just listened to the post titled, Your Ability to Focus Has Probably Peaked. Here's How to Stay Sharp, by Nir Ayal of nearandfar.com. As an entrepreneur, you know that every hire counts, but that doesn't mean that the time you spend looking for qualified candidates should be a second job. Find top talent fast with Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses worldwide to do it all. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. Over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love Indeed's Instant Match feature because candidates you invite to apply through Instant Match are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search, according to US Indeed data. Indeed knows that when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. That's why with Indeed, you only pay for quality applications that match your must-have job requirements. Visit indeed.com slash startup to start hiring now. Just go to indeed.com slash startup. Indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I know you need this medicine, but it looks like it's not covered by your insurance. Yeah, unfortunately, I had to deny that one. Wait, who are you? I'm your insurance company's pharmacy benefit manager. I get paid based on the price of a medicine, and I don't make as much money off this one. No one should stand between you and your medicine. Visit phrma.org slash middleman to learn more. Paid for by Pharma. And thanks to Nir, who holds a degree from Stanford Graduate School of Business, has sold multiple companies, taught at two different schools at Stanford, and has become a best-selling author. Nir also has a really excellent blog, which I encourage you to check out. That's where this post was from today, and you can find it at nearandfar.com, and please note that Nir is spelled N-I-R, like his name. And for more insights on using psychology to change behavior, you can join Nir's newsletter and get a free workbook at nearandfar.com. Okay, that's going to do it for me today here on Optimal Startup Daily. As always, I thank you so much for being with me and for clicking subscribe or follow in whatever podcast app you're using. And I will see you right back here tomorrow for another episode. And that is where your optimal life awaits.